Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey guys, yes, it is me and this, yes, don't let it fool you. This is something new that I have added to my line up. Y'all know I'm doing the most. So I don't know if any of you all were on my live um, on Sunday, but I was saying like, I am really in love with Travels Notebooks. So last year was my year of happy planner discovery, finding out what planners work best for me. What seems like is the um, norm for me is each year I'm gonna try something new and figure out what works for me. So this year I've jumped head first into the Traveler's Notebook um, bandwagon or whatever you wanna call it. And I am absolutely loving it. Like for real, the love that I have for Traveler's Notebooks surpasses the love that I have for when I started happy planning. I still love happy planning, but I'm just saying like I love Traveler's notebooks. So, um, as you know, I have my B6 and I have baby the standard size that I'm currently using as my EDC. However, I have decided to upgrade to a A5. A5 is the same length as a standard, but the width is wider. Um, it's actually closer in size to the Cahier. Um, this is a 5.5 by 8.25. And the Kaye is a 5 instead of a 5.5. So anyway, it's still kind of similar to what I've been planning in, but it's a lot bigger. Um, it still fits in all of my bags that I use, so I'm super excited. So this is actually just the temporary cover that I have for her. Right now, her name is Her, because Her then came all up through, up into this planner thing, and just then switched the game all the way up. So her is what I'm currently using. Now I've only done a partial setup just because I'm waiting for one more insert to come because I want to make sure all of my measurements are um, right um, because I did printables for all five of my inserts except for one I ordered. So that one is going to give me a true measure of how I have to cut everything up. So right now this is my temporary cover. I'm on a hunt for something. I mean this is cute. It's classic but I'm just looking for something more like you know plush cream something like that so let's just I'm gonna open it up so you just can see how I have it set up so far okay as you can see I stole from baby yes I did <laughs> so I took the little charm on the side and put her here and this um, is the bookmark charm that I have and this doesn't have pockets so I had to add the little laminate pockets um, so what I did was just add this cute die cut from um, shop LCA and this is a bow that I had I don't know what just happened to my light this is a bow that I had um, in baby and then the back I put Mary and Martha in the back this is Lisa Mack and this is me. Um, so just to kind of show everything in here again is temporary except for this. This um, jelly dashboard cover was made by um, Shop LCA. And this is an A5 size. Um, and it has the pocket in here already. And it's clear so you can barely see it's there. And this is just on the other side. So I just looped it around this. Now all of the... Um, floral type of colors or the colorful these are actually prints digital printables that came from um, Villa Beautiful with her Galentine's um, January kit so this is just the covers that I'm using again all this is temporary but still want to show you that you can start with the basics with temporary things you don't have to go straight into making all your re reusable dashboard covers and all of that stuff just get started um, and plus I wanted to start this because this is the first full week of February and I didn't want to wait until March because I was excited. So this is my monthly view and this is so cute. Let me just show you how it is. And this is from Printable Pineapple. Um, so you have, so you get like three different covers that you can use anytime you have any of her printables. Um, it was this one. Um, I think, I don't know. I can't remember the other ones, but you get three different options. 
and this is the actual um, cover for the 2019 planner and you get two years you get this year and the next year then you have a place for your important dates and then this is the actual month so of course January doesn't matter I probably like um, use some tape and tape it together so the next one um, this is again from Villa Beautiful and this is my weeks and this is for February and this actually came from the digital dash box now I had a super hard time getting the um, I had a super hard time getting the printable to print right it kept either leaving off some boxes or it was too small so what I did because I'm the type of person that I will play around with stuff until I get it I used the a no I used the b6 printable and I increased the size to 110 and then I used landscape um, layout and it printed perfect um, so this is um, the weeks um, and it's already dated so I don't have to date it not unless I want to um, and I'm really liking the script so I might not do date covers on every one of them um, but who knows I really really like that a lot then the next insert and this comes from does it say it doesn't say I can't remember but this is for addresses and I know y'all say address book who uses that but being a planner girl you get a lot of addresses from a lot of people and for me I normally keep most of my addresses on my computer because if I print labels I print them from there but sometimes I might be somewhere and I might need to mail something and my planner is always with me so I can go ahead and use it that way and then the last insert I probably won't use but it's just here for now um, this is for passwords just because I'm kind of weirded out about walking around with this um, I probably will replace this with note paper now I do have one more insert that is coming and that is the one that I'll be using for my fitness and I might take this out and put it here um, because this is only four strings but I would like to have a notebook um, or like line paper in here um, so that's another reason why this is temporary because it doesn't have enough strings for me I need at least five um, and so what I did was this is actually the um, envelope style insert that was in my travel size notebook and I really didn't care about it fitting to size because I really liked having the pockets um, because I have like my stamps mailing labels in there and then on this side some sticky notes and some other things that I need so what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm not going to set up my monthly right now um, because I don't really know how I want to set it up um, but I do plan on sh probably just posting a picture of the monthly on my Instagram stories but what we will do is set up in my weeks and I did a poll on my Facebook live and everyone chose the um, Chanel swag by Golden Plants Co this is her mini kit and I'll probably use um, some of these um, covers from Scribble Prints Co and then I'm gonna use these date dots along with this beautiful washi so as you can see I'm going for pink gold black and white spread of course it's the month of love that's the colors so if you want to see how I set it up stick around Okay, so I am using this amazing kit from Golden Plans Co. Um, when she reopened her shop the um, middle part of January, this was one of the kits that she released. Now, this is actually the mini kit that I am using. Um, she does also have full kits. Um, but as I've stated before, for me, one, price point is great to get a mini kit. And two, I feel like you still get a lot 
of stickers for the calls because a lot of times I end up with so many stickers left um, from the mini kit. Um, so that's why for me personally, I don't get the regular size kit. Now, maybe when my coins get a little bit larger, I might invest in, but I'm trying to shop smarter um, because what I've realized for me, I love planner stuff. I love stationer. I love stickers. I love pens. I love all things planner and a no spin, especially a full month. No spin just is very hard for me. I've tried it twice and it doesn't work. I do better with challenging myself um, for weekly no spins um, and that way I'm still able to get, you know, some things on the weeks that I do allow myself to spend. And that'll also keep me from spending over my budget. I try not to spend a whole lot on planner stuff, um, but the one thing about it when you are a um, YouTuber and your YouTube videos are primarily planner videos you do have to invest in the items so i do set my budget at a hundred dollars um in which the bulk of that sometimes goes towards my kits because i do get a villa um beautiful kit um in which that is not a subscription and then i do have a i want to say it's a bi-monthly kit that golden plans co just started this year um so i believe my next payment will come out next month because it's um, every other month. So anyway, so I say all that to say is if you're trying to budget or if you're trying not to overspend your funds on planner stuff and you really want to get a kit, try to get a mini kit. Try it out. At least that way you can see if you like it instead of spending, you know, anywhere from 17 to $30 because the full kits can be very pricey, especially if you don't have a discount code. So that's my two cents on kits. So what I'm doing now is adding some foiled overlay on top of these box stickers. As you can see, it does not hide the sticker. It just adds the extra little foil um, accent around the sides. Um, it's super cute. I got this from Scribble Prints Co. And I've noticed a lot of the sticker kit, um, a lot of the um, shops that offer sticker kits also offers the different transparent or um, overlay stickers and they are really really cute to me um, so right now what I'm doing is just adding some um, to-do boxes just to fill up some of these white space some of the white space um, but what I did realize um, as I went to check to make sure I was in frame I ended up not recording this whole spread because my battery died um, so I had to just add the um, Ending, which it shows me right now, adding some washi to this um, bottom part of the spread. Um, but you really didn't miss a lot. I 
did not include the closing video because initially I thought I lost the whole video. So I had the whole sad puppy um, closing video on there. So I'm just going to close from here. So I hope you like this spread. Um, if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or live stream. And as well, check the description box for any um, codes that I have for the shops that I like to shop at, as well as the links to the um, shop that I used in this video. So again, if you like this, you guys drop me a comment. Um, and I hope, um, I don't know, I just hope that you all kind of got the gist of it. I was so upset that I didn't get to have all of this on here for you all because I am very particular about my videos. But if this has still inspired you, make sure you share this video with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plans. So until next time, planner fam, peace. Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan, and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.